All right, I'm here with Matt Corcoran, a uh, hockey, golf fan. Or enthusiast, golf, enthusiast, expert. Can you call me an expert, Sam? Yeah, you can call me an expert. <laughs> a lot better than call me. Um, baseball, Cardinals fan. Yeah. Um, I didn't like football very much. My favorite team is whoever's playing the Rams, Sam. <laughs> so let's talk. NHL first, I guess it's the biggest story around the yeah world. the sports world, and the I thought the Panthers were going to win it in five four, and the Maple Leafs just came back to tie it all up. The, o the Oilers, Oilers, that other team from Canada. It's right. been 31, 31 years, Sam, since uh, it's it's you're you're not wrong to make that mistake. It's been thirty one years since a Canadian team has won the Stanley Cup. Can you believe that? No, and the last one was 1990, or no? 90, 90 was the... 1993, the Montreal Canadiens beat Wayne Gretzky's Los Angeles Kings in the Stanley Cup final. Patrick Waugh was the goalie for the Canadiens. My brother Patrick, as as you, you know my brother Patrick, he was named after Patrick Waugh. Was he? Uh, but but uh, the Canadiens beat the, uh, the Kings, and that's the last time that Lord Stanley's Cup uh, was awarded... To a Canadian team in Canada, I guess. Uh, but yeah. uh, pretty exciting um, games. I, I, I'm with you. I would have thought that the Panthers would have taken care of business. Unfortunately for the for the Panthers, it's a big momentum. Uh, it's a it's a game that's all about momentum. They talk about the ice being tilted, and the ice right now is definitely tilted in Edmonton's favor. And uh, they've got all the momentum. They've got the best player in the world. And they're hot, and the Panthers are not. Um, I think they have two days off, as everybody has to travel all the way from Edmonton, which is like the farthest northwest that hockey gets, down to Fort Lauderdale, which is the farthest southeast that hockey gets. It's like 2,500 miles between the two cities, so they give them an extra day off on these travel days. But the Panthers need it. They need to figure something out. I do think, you know, game, game seven Stanley Cup finals, I don't know that it gets any better than that uh, in all of sports. I know you're not a hockey guy, Squeege, but uh, but the game seven Stanley Cup finals, I think, is the best sports theater there is. So the last time the Oilers won the Cup was in 1990. Is that right? That's, and then I think that's I think that's right. And then, but so Brad, let me think about this. So the Islanders. The Islanders won four straight cups in the early 80s, including the last one against the Oilers. And Gretzky tells the story all the time about how they were the Oilers were all young and talented, and they're sitting in the locker room and they and they uh they could hear the Islanders, and the Islanders were like they were celebrating, but they were kind of tired and beat up. And and Gretzky and Messier tell the story about that's how they learned that they needed to sacrifice more. The Oilers did. So the next year, and I think the next four years, if memory serves, uh, the Oilers won four cups in four years. And then I think the Flames won a cup. And then the Oilers won that fifth cup, which I think you're right, is was 89-90. Uh, Gretzky was not on that team. Uh, Mark Messier was the captain of the Oilers by that point. Um, but uh, some great, great, great teams that the Oilers have, and this one looks to be pretty darn great as well. And they've won – and Gretzky won three with them. I think Gretzky won four with them, and then then the Oilers won a fifth cup. Mark Messier was the captain once Gretzky got traded to L.A. So I think I think Gretzky won four, then the Flames won for a year, and then the then the Oilers won without Gretzky, and that's the last time they've they've won. So has any other player won two cups on two different teams in Canada? Oh boy, that's a good question. What a great trivia question! Two cups on two different teams. There has to be somebody. Um, I, I'm going to guess there's somebody in the '60s. You know, the, the original six teams in the NHL were the. Bruins, Boston Bruins, Chicago Blackhawks, New York Rangers, Detroit Red Wings, Montreal Canadiens, and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Okay, so that's the original six teams in the league, and that existed that way until 1967, which that was the year the Blues came into the league in 67. And um, 
Um, but until that time, I think there were, there has to be players in that era that won cups with both uh, the Canadians and the Maple Leafs. So it just has to be, but I don't know. Are. But it's a good trivia question. No, I don't know the answer. I'm trying to look it up, but it's a, I tell you, bud, it's a, if the Oilers come back and win, I, I, I think it's only the second time in NHL history that a team has come back it's from 1942. I believe I looked it up a couple of days ago. Yeah, 42. And it was the Red Wings and the Maple Leafs back then. Um, but I think that's the only other time in history that it's happened in in the NHL, which is crazy. Um, but uh, yeah, it's I, I'm you know as you know we're uh, we're good friends with the Kachuk family, and so the Corcoran boys are all cheering for Matt Kachuk and the uh, and the and the Panthers. So we'll see uh, we'll see how it shakes out. But I'm I'm nervous for the Panthers, and either way, it's going to be a good story. Either the Panthers are going to figure out a way to. Uh, finish the Oilers off, or the Oilers are going to complete the comeback, and McDavid will win his first cup. And he's their best player, right? Connor. He's he not only is he their best player, he's probably the best player in uh, in all of hockey, and uh, and he's probably um, you know the, he's probably the most talented player to ever play. Now he, I'm not sure he's the greatest player. Gretzky is the greatest player, but McDavid is probably the most talented player. He's so fast. He does so many things well, but um, but Gret Gretz will always be the great one, the greatest, uh, until somebody gets, you know, anywhere near some of his records. And then, so then, who are you picking? Ah, my heart says Florida, but my head says Edmonton. I think whoever scores first is going to win that game. Um. It's it's every the, the tensions are going to be so high in that one, Sam. That whoever scores first is going to win that game. Florida's going to Florida never won, right? They've never won. They've been to the finals once. It was in the nineties. I remember watching. I remember watching the the, the game. They got swept uh, by the Avalanche, and there was a it was a double overtime or triple overtime game, and an unknown Avalanche defenseman named Yui Krupp. Uh, scored the goal to win the game and sweep the series um, for the Avs over the Panthers. Uh, but that's the only that 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 and last year are the only two times the Panthers ever made the finals. Uh, but we'll so we'll see what happens. Um, I'm I'm cheering for the Panthers, but I'm a little worried the Oilers are going to pull it off. Game seven, as we said, we'll get on the NHL finals as we see Matt and Sam. Matt Corcoran and Sam Vaughn of Sports Course, Edmonton Oilers, and the Florida Panthers will play game seven after the Panthers took the first three, and now the Edmonton Oilers have came back to take the next three. This will be the only, the second time this has happened, the Stanley Cup, fairly recent for the NHL Conference Finals. The fact it was last year, but to come back in the Stanley Cup, it was 3 0. It'd be the first time since 1942. It's not happened in basketball ever. It's happened in baseball once, never in the World Series, though. Let's meet the Edmonton starting lineups. Brand, Ryan Nugget Hopkins, left wing Zach Hyman, right wing Leon Driscoll, left defense Connor McDavid, and right defense Evan Bouchard. And goalie Strat Skinners. Florida Panthers home team Alec Bavar, Bavar Sam Reinhardt, Carter Vihigan, right defense Matt Tadaka, Sergei Boski. That's the lineup for them. Key plays to the game spark up power plays, stay at a good pace, speed up the game when needed to. Key players, Connor McDavid and Sam Reinhart, and it's down on to baseball. The Royals will play the Marlins. They have they need to get it together again. The Royals the Marlins are just 2750, so the right team to get it to go in against the Royals to host at Kauffman Stadium as the Royals return for the first time since last Monday. The Royals will haven't scored twenty two in twenty two innings and lost nine in the last eleven. The Marlins have Roby Munzo on the mound for the Royals will be Reagans. 
The Royals, of course, were swept by the Rangers over the weekend. First pitch, 7-10. The Cardinals grab the sweep over the Giants. The Cardinals will grab our two games above 500 now. And we'll go against the Braves here, 43-32. and 32. The Cards, Lance Lynn has been good. He is ERA is around 1.90. Spencer Schwalbash will go for the for the Braves. First pitch, 645. Cubs will play Giants. Justin Steele will go for the Cubs. And Eric Miller will go for the Giants. The Giants got swept over the Cardinals, as we mentioned. The Cubs lost two out of three to the Mets, who were also not very good. First pitch, 845. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam's This is Sam Vaughn for Sam's Sports Report.